Hello and welcome back to another Let's Play. My name is Saiken and today we're going to take a look into Alien Stark Descent. You have recommended the game to me as it is a bit XCOM-esque but very much different. It uh, takes place in the Alien franchise universe, Valen uh, Corporation for the win. And this is going to be a blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty. As I have experienced while playing the tutorial, which is uh, the absolute extent to which I played the game, this game is not pulling any punches whatsoever. So it, there is a realistic chance that this will actually not be a full campaign, as in we're going to win but maybe we're just going to lose, therein however lies the fun. The game itself allows uh, to load from certain safe uh, points and I haven't yet fully figured out how we want to go about it uh, because at the one hand uh, that feels safe scummy. And those of you on this channel know that I am more leaning towards kind of the full hardcore experience of games. On the other hand, the game can be at times quite tough, uh, at least in the tutorial, and if that theme continues, we might have a problem. So I'll try to strike a balance between um, only loading whenever uh, absolutely necessary, but elsewise accepting consequences. So, um, yeah, well, let's join me with a new game. We are going to play on Nightmare difficulty. Enemy health points uh, are very hard, enemy detection time is very hard, so enemy detection is fast. Aggressiveness uh, is very high, aggressiveness is gained very fast, you will see what that means in a second. Death clock campaign days is very hard very restrictive. I don't know what the death clock is, but it sounds a bit like the Avatar project from XCOM. And we allow a permissive safe game. Uh, there's also no one can hear them scream. Uh, that uh, might be a little bit harsh uh, for me not knowing the game. But on the other hand, here's the main. Hmm. Maybe we'll do it, uh, uh, do the following. I'll use the no one can hear them scream safe uh, system, but I'm allowed uh, say two or three reloads per mission. Um, that seems to strike a fair balance. So that way, if something ultra heavy happens, I can shortly go back and prepare, but I can't do that very often. And once my two or three saves are off, the rest of uh, the mission essentially is a danger territory. Okay, so that's as hard as um, you can uh, get. So let's jump into the game and enjoy the alien feeling. I'm a big fan of the franchise. Be advised, due to local storms, we currently have no contact with Lethe. Just 
Any news from Lisa Hayes? Sorry, sir. We're having a hard time reaching anyone. That storm probably... Damn. Must be one hell of a hurricane to cut us from the whole planet. Chief Administrator, I'm showing a weight discrepancy on the Bentonville's manifest. They just asked for a takeoff accreditation, but half the shipment is still at dock. Half, you say? Well, we just earned a bonus. I'll allow them to take off right away. Protocol dictates... How many times? Company protocol doesn't mean anything out here. What works, works. And we're already behind schedule. Director Price... ...isn't here. And if I do recall correctly, Deputy Administrator Hayes, your shift ended half an hour ago. So get the hell off my command deck and let me do my job. I don't care what McDonald says. Something is wrong here. I can monitor the cargo bay camera's security feed just as well from my office. Okay, things are not looking great to begin with. We've already seen that the alien uh, that there seems to be a xenomorph. Uh, for those of you aware of the alien franchise, that's a full-fledged uh, drone. You look troubled. Administrator, is there anything I can do to help? Thank you, Daniel. But no, I'm just having one of those days, you know? Another argument with Administrator McDonald. How did you guess? I may be synthetic, but I'm not blind. Are you sure I can't be of assistance? No, it's my problem, and I'll take care of it. I just need to reach my office. Of course. But I'm afraid this corridor is closed due to maintenance. You'll need to detour through the cafeteria. The good old synthetics. I don't know no one's picking up on the planet. Not even Jackson's landing. Really?
Don't often see you in here, Administrator Hayes. Are you lost? Do you need me to show you to your room? Last I checked, you couldn't find your own ass with both hands. I'll pass. <laughs> okay, so I... Uh, what I must give the game, at least from the tutorial, is it does a fantastic job in just setting Why the scene all around. Secure for launch. All crews, this is your two-minute warning. Shit, need to hurry. Welcome, Administrator Hayes. Good. Well, that's a rush to here. So as I was saying, it uh, is doing a really good job in portraying the Alien franchise. Very horror-ish. The architecture, they got that uh, down to a T. Where's Chief Durant? Selling the labor dispute on a rally. Then you'll have to do... Gather a security team and come with me. <laughs> Not a chance. McDonald just linked in. Told us you'd be stirring up trouble. Again. I ain't getting involved. Take it up with him. Thanks for nothing. Fantastic. Let's check out the docking bay all by ourselves then. Before, before. What is the quickest way there? Good, the good old minimap will be super important. It has often served me well. Most fucking storage office and basement. Supply shuttle Bentonville is cleared for launch. Remember, all unauthorized breaks taken by non-officer grades will automatically be deducted from leave allowance. Good, let's double check what is happening at the landing bay. Help me. Hold on. You you're going to be alright. Cargo bay. These things came out of Stay with me, stay. Something is definitely happening in the cargo bay. Better take his pistol. Whatever's in there doesn't know I can't aim for shit. That's the Bentonville. Loose. I need to lock this damn door. There's a welder back there. All right, let's get the wielder. Time to get it sealed up. Whatever that thing is, can't chew its way through a door. Get it together, Michael.
Good. We're welding that down. the Bensonville. What are you talking about? The dock crew and cargo bay four are dead. Dead? That's not funny. Something got loose and killed. <gasps> Power failure. Power failure. Engaging emergency generators. What just happened? Uh -oh. <laughs> the cuts are well done. Security. I need to get to security. Off we go. Let's find us some security guards. Administrator Hayes. There's some kind of infestation aboard. Otago, you have to intercept the Benhamville before it leaves the system. Can you hear me, Otago? Please copy. Is everything all right? Please copy. Damn it! Comms are down. I can't fix them from here. I need to get to the comms room. It seems we're the only one who can prevent this disaster from Lewis? happening. Are you in there? I need access to the comms room. Lewis, answer me, damn it! Go away! You're drawn right to us. Open the damn door! No way! It's staying locked to keep those things out! You think that'll help? They're in the vents. Vents? <laughs> Shit! Lewis! Lewis! Alert. Alert. Station integrity compromised. <gasps> Manning? It's out there. It's waiting for me. Manning, you can't stay here. No, no! I can't see me here. Go away! Go away! Okay! Just keep your head down, right? <sighs> Everybody else just using the duck in and high tactic. Daniel, you all right? Deputy Administrator, it appears that these creatures have destroyed our communication system. Why would they do that? They're animals. Sorry, I have no idea. I wish I could help you further. Shit, the Bentonville. I need to stop that ship.
Daniel. Our planetary quarantine protocols, they're still operational, aren't they? I do believe so, Deputy Administrator. What do I do? Those things have to come from the planet. If even one gets off world. Ugh. No, there's no choice. I could stop them. Deputy Administrator, you're only following the Wayland Yutani containment procedures. The Cerberus protocol was specifically designed for a situation like this. What you're doing is only right. Right. Yes. All right. Time to quarantine the entire planet. Otago, Bentonville, Baldwin. Will be caught in the high orbit interdiction radius. Please confirm command. I am so sorry. Cerberus protocol activated. Purging contaminant vectors. Stand by. Stand by. targets. Okay, so important lesson, the vision system. If an enemy sees you, then there will be that uh, little yellow line indicating the enemy vision. It fills up with red. Once it has been fully filled up, the enemy will start, to, uh, start chasing you. And yeah, our pistol, our service pistol is not really a match for a proper drone. Which is why we will need to sneak out. This is what happens when you are essentially being attacked by them. And you can see it uh, is one shot. So just pointing out what I mentioned earlier. Mm. 
Might be a pretty tough game. Good. We're rejoining. This was, of course, for showcase uh, purpose. And their detection is like ultra fast. So you have mere seconds between being detected and them, uh, them essentially charging at you. There it is. Okay, where is that bugger now? I think it's gone. Sergeant Harper, USCM. You? Hey, uh, Dep Deputy Administrator. You're from the Otago? Yeah. What the hell was that thing? It was... Everyone's dead. It was on one of the cargo shuttles. All right, people. We're falling back to the dropship. Hunsley, we're rolling to you. Copy. Good. The one thing that is different to, say, XCOM is... You can't really micromanage your squad too much. Uh, you can always just play with the entirety of the squad. Uh, they do have a bit of health, so six hit points and two armor in that case. And a lot of it will be automated, which is why I wouldn't really say it is kind of a tech, uh, tactical game like XCOM. It is really more a stealth roguelike game with uh, tactical... Uh, elements so maybe an rts game but definitely not kind of an xcom turn-based combat game from what i've noticed you okay sarge eyes ahead something's coming from what i've also noticed we've got movement um the actual fights are not what the game really wants you to do it seems definitely more like a stealth approach game uh, hence also kind of the tension that builds up with all of the motion trackers and so on manning where are you going it's not safe here it's not Damn straight, but we'll get you out. No, you don't understand. It's here. It's here. Light it up. Good. When Marines are running, they can't use any of the weapons. Fair enough. 
they will automatically shoot. You can see the ammunition count uh, down below. Mannings unfortunately didn't make it. Take him out! Use a grenade! Good. We do have skill uh, skills menu and. There are so-called command points, uh, which is a special resource. They uh, deplete, but also you regain them back over time. And with them, you can do a couple of things in combat, such as those grenades. We need that elevator. Punch it. Tracker lighting up. All right, set for suppressing fire and check your targets. Getting closer, closer. Good. Suppressing fire is the only way that I've found to slow down aliens so far. And it is helpful because they are melee creatures at the end of the day. Daniel! Daniel, is that you? Administrator Hayes, where are you going? We're getting to safety, Daniel. Please, come with us. I'm afraid I can't permit that. Severus protocols are in effect. I know, but we can't stay. It's not safe. The protocols are clear. Nothing in, nothing out. I'm sorry, Administrator Hayes. Stand down! Quarantine breach in progress. Deadly force authorized. Bring it down! What the hell was that? I... I don't know. I've never even heard Daniel raise his voice. Since, man. Creepy little fuckers. Good. You can remove uh, the overwatch as you can see, uh, just with that little X over his head. And the point that I uh, positioned, it's actually well done. The point that I uh, positioned is the center of uh, the suppressor fire. So let's say if I set the point uh, right there, we could move around the point in order to turn, uh, turn the suppressor fire. Hold still, I'm... Oh no. What? This blood is... Some kind of acid. Fuck. What kind of blood type is that? Keep your distance, Marines. Gladwell, you fit to move? I'm... Not dying here. Alright. Let's get off this damn station. Good. Xenomorph dies. There is a chance that it might explode into an acid burst, care, uh, causing one damage to everybody near them. We need Latimer Mobile, Asa. I'll break open the med kit. Okay, good. So, we're learning about uh, healing wounds. Shit. That's another resource up here. Up to four medical supplies. Takes a while to apply them. It's actually well done, and then uh, they completely heal up. Gee, thanks. All right, next skill that we learn is the shotgun. Those things are handy for close encounters. Costs a uh, command point though, just like everything else here. So these command points are really, really good. With you. Move now! We're in danger! Good, and this is where it all comes together. Sergeant Harper, pull it together! We have to leave! Yeah, yeah, I heard you! Corporal Hunslet, get your ass down here! Hot evac! Alright, alright! Air Hunslet inbound. Have your boarding passes ready. Auto Marine for suppressive fire. All right, we're going to do exactly that. Shit, reading multiple contacts, closing fast. How many of those things are there? 
Too many. We have to go. More of them are coming! Hold your position, Marines! Well, don't worry, Hunslet. There's no rush. It's not like we're all gonna die. Uh, when you open the skill men menu, either restore more or pause the game. This will give you time to do everything you need. And see, that's a bit the fight. Uh, the fights are not very XCOM-esque. You oftentimes need to pause. And just use the skills, really. You look at that. Hell, she's taking a pounding. Otago, this is Harper. Do you copy? Hunslet, can you get us aboard? No way, Sarge. Between the debris and the decaying orbit, death trap. Damn it. At least those platforms are leaving us alone. They're designed for planetary quarantine, but Lethe has to remain operational. Low orbit is considered safe, but beyond that, it's. It's a dead zone. Cerberus will shut down everything attempting to go through, in both directions. Cerberus, huh? You seem to know a lot about it. I know everything about it. I'm Pioneer Station. That's my job. Yeah? You know why I decided to turn the Otago into scrap metal? I... I don't know. Systems failure, maybe? You saw the state of the station. Shit! There she goes! Fuck! Follow her down, Hunslet. No problem. Fireball like that's hard to miss. Welcome home, Harper. You like what I've done with the place? Martinez! It's good to see you, Sarge. Sergeant Martinez, is it... is your communication system working? It's online, but... we're only picking up static. These colonies sure have a relay problem. But who's asking? Meet Deputy Administrator Hayes from Pioneer. Where's Captain Cochran? There's shit going down on that station like you wouldn't believe. Gone. The whole command staff's gone. You're it. Me? Ah, uh, you made sergeant before I did. You've got seniority. Yeah, sure, but these are the captain's orders, as in the deathbed kind. So this shit's all yours, he insisted. If you want me, I'll be in the armory, seeing what survived the crash. Uh, do that. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Ace, you better come with me. Ah, damn. What do we do now? We don't know what is happening on the surface of this planet. McDonald's, my boss, he sure didn't. We have to get in contact with someone if we hope to get out of this mess. I hate to rain on your parade, but the Otago shit hounds. Even if it wasn't, how do we get out past those Cerberus platforms? Well, they'll stop a ship, but not a signal. 
If we create our own relay, perhaps we could broadcast from low orbit, just in case a ship passes by. You want to create a sort of satellite? We're not a pirate radio station, Deputy Administrator. Or we could contact Pharaoh Spire. Director Price you needs to... You heard Martinez. The relays on this rock could be down for good. You want to send a message? Get out and start walking already. There has to be something we can do. Well, maybe there is. But I'm not seeing it. So you're gonna sit here and do nothing? Like hell. After what happened up there, regs are clear. We're on an alert footing. There could be a hostile biomorph loose on Lethe. So we've got civvies in danger and no way to contact them, right? What about Otago's short-range frequency receiver? Yeah, that could work. For now. That doesn't solve our broadcasting problem. We have to you warn the people... You find a way we can do that, then maybe, maybe we can talk about making that happen. Until then, we save everyone we can. We're Marines. That's the job. You want to help? Get familiar with this ship. What's left of it, anyway? All right, that brings us uh, to the actual ship. Unfortunately, the game crashed once, which is why I needed to kind of replay the intro. Gosh, uh, what a mess have we gotten ourselves in. So let's understand the ship and get ready for the first mission. And we're wrapping up the episode. So um, we do have Otago Repair, which is the campaign progress, currently sitting solidly at 0%. And we do have 10 Marines available for us. Let's check medical quarters first. I'm Administrator Hayes, I know. I don't want to seem unwelcoming, but I don't really have time to talk right now. A lot of Marines are hurting, half my orderlies are dead, and the medbay is being held together with bailing tape. How many casualties are we looking at? Between the platforms and the crash? At 20. And that'll double before the day's out. There's another 10 unaccounted for in Hangar Bay 3, but the doors are decompression sealed, so we know how that'll go. It'll get worse still if I don't get back to it, so if you'll excuse me. Yes, sorry. Sorry. Med bays where wounded marines are sent to recover from injuries. Uh, we can then assign intense care, in this case a physician, and we apparently have two of these guys. This one's a priority. And Understood. that reduces uh, their uh, time out by one day. Let's check the workshop. New girl. Sorry, but I'm pretty busy right now. Crash buckled half the support bulkhead. That's all I can do to stop this place caving in. All right, I'll let you get on. Thanks. Good. Once functional again, the workshop will allow you to unlock weapons for your Marines. Weapons provide specific skills and increase damage done. That sounds good. Currently, we do have the pulse rifle. One to two damage. Two ammo per burst. 0.75 seconds, so it's kind of around 2 damage per second and 100 ammo clip size. Service pistol, uh, 12 uh, ammo clip size, but deals just as much damage per second. That feels wrong, but yeah, reload, I suppose, comes on top of it. And then we got short ranged pump gun action, 10 to 20 points of damage uh, in the shorter uh, field and 5 to 10 in medium range. Plus 30% chance to insta kill. That's good. Okay, so that's what we got at the moment. Uh, we do have 50 materials. And we. Everything here costs a hundred. Administrator Hayes, I can't tell you how glad I am to see another Wayland Yutani face aboard. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Becker. The company assigned me to the ship in order to oversee trials of a new cryo sleep routine. But I can't see that happening now. Look at the state of my lab. Months of vital research gone. If I at least had power, I could salvage the backups. But these brutes keep ignoring me. Perhaps you could... Sorry, Doctor, but they're not exactly friendly to me either. 
It's not about friendly. Who holds higher authority? A Wayland Yutani executive or your typical Marine? Where does half the USCM's funding come from? Who provides their weapons? Hmm? You might want to push them. I'm sure they'll back down. Thank you, Doctor. You've given me a lot to think about. Well, of course I have. Deputy Administrator Hayes to the bridge. Hayes, please report to the bridge. All right. This is what the short-range frequency receiver picked up. It's a distress message from a nearby colony. Thinking what I'm thinking. We have to go there, see for ourselves. What? I feel for those people, but we're blind here. If we're to save anyone, we need proper comms. We got them. The Otago, Hunslet's dropship, our vehicles, my Marines. They all speak the same language, courtesy of the USCM comm system. That's not what it's I meant. It's a military decision, Hayes, which means it's my decision. Those folks need help. Fine. What do you need from me? Well, normally I'd lead the squad and an officer'd run oversight. You know, intel, tactical, from the ARC, our armored recon carrier. I can do that, but I need you to handle the rest from here on the Otago. Oh, I thought I wasn't military. Don't I know it? Listen, if I'm gonna keep my people alive, I need someone with smarts for when mine falls short. If it helps, this ain't exactly what I signed on for, either. Welcome to the Colonial Marines. Good, very good. So, that'll bring us to exactly the first mission, at which point this is a perfect cliffhanger. So, lots of introduction to take in. Uh, the game definitely sets the right tone of a gritty and horrible uh, alien environment. And next time, we're going to launch our very first team to hopefully help these poor folks and rescue as many as we can. Uh, that's it for today. That's all I got. Thank you for watching and to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.